not just playing the game but but managing the game uh, for your own benefit that's that's a big big thing and you'll see that as this live stream goes on as we crack on towards the first game and just before we actually get into that i just want to say victor sweet which is daniel henry a pez league admin and Good long time daniel. pez player um has said hi to both of us in the chat hello daniel <laughs> hello <laughs> that was short and sweet uh, and as you can see we have the first game the first live streamed game we have liverpool versus psg and of course this is from group a uh, and the two players we are waiting for confirmation on where I'm, I'm still assuming that this is Jose versus Guifera. We will try get confirmation from our uh, team in Tokyo right now. We'll try to confirm who is actually who. So we have Jose from Spain versus Guifera from Brazil. We have last year's regional winner, uh, who didn't do so well, didn't fare so well in the fin World Finals versus Guifera from Brazil, who won it last year. How will he defend his trophy? And on the right-hand side, playing as PSG, is, of course, that man, Guiafera. And Verratti has the ball just inside the half, but he's giving it away and a chance to counter here for Liverpool and Jose. How do you think these two players are going to start, Graham? Um, attacking, and that's exactly what Mohamed Saladaris is cutting in the box and drills the ball in. I think that's what we're going to see. We're going to see a lot of players, with the way that Jose was set up, I believe it was Jose, with that kind of structured line through the middle. He wants to play through the middle, whilst Guerrero is looking to use the flanks. So it'll be interesting to see how those two... Uh, it's a lovely pass down the left-hand side. Chance here for Guerrero. Plays it into the water in the middle. Good defending in the end. And chance to clear. Seven minutes gone here. Liverpool versus PSG here. The first game on the live stream from the Asia round of the World uh, Tour as a chance here to break into the area plays it across good block and chance to clear it away to safety out towards Draxler now finds Verratti back to Draxler again lovely one touch football here from PSG Guiaferra making his way very systematically down the field Graham yeah and, and that's exactly what Guiaferra does he plays and it is almost through with that final ball but he's got an opportunity and he just goes begging Guifera that is the way he plays you mentioned the systematic that's that is how you describe the Brazilian wonder kid he plays every pass and nothing is rushed he knows where the next pass is coming before he's even played the current one and as I say that he has a shot on goal but this is where Jose has a chance to break that just reminded me of last year's final he actually went behind but he never panicked at all uh, and actually managed to turn it around after extra time to win the world finals taking away 200,000 US dollars as the ball just breaks out of play and is out for a goal kick 50 minutes gone here pretty cagey Graham not a lot of goal mouth action see that's that's kind of what I want I mean I like the uh, the 10-2 matches where Eterito is banging in goals left right and centre but well, we might get the first here as Di, Di Maria into the area. Right for cross. Oh, 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 what an overhead. Onto the post. Right across the line. Goalkeeper in. No man's land. And it's ricochet back out to safety. First real chance. And what a chance, Graham. What a chance. Both balls. Both uprights. Keeper beaten. And again, the and keeper is beaten. And it's into the back of the net. And the man who won the world finals last year 200,000 US dollars takes the lead in emphatic fashion and Jose looks distraught early on it was interesting because until uh, Guifera kissed his fingers then you wouldn't have been able to tell who scored the goal that's how in the zone both of these players are but I was just about to say Neymar with the bicycle kick in the box both uprights didn't manage to find the back of the goal but just a couple of seconds later he does calm and composed Neymar nodding over the despairing dive of the goalkeeper and it's Liverpool nil PSG 1 in the first live stream here between Jose and Guiaferra in group A and it's off to a flyer grade it is just as your commentary comes in with the alliteration calm and composed over the despairing dive just remember Graham I am a superstar <laughs> <laughs> the ball gets played forwards and it's a chance here to respond for Jose but it's good defending in the end from Guiaferra something we were very uh 
it was a very evident in the World Finals last year actually how good defensively Guiafera was going into that final against the all-scoring Eterito. And that's that's the thing. It's kind of easy to forget how defensively-minded uh, players can often win games. Obviously, we mentioned Tia Mitt, who managed to upset Eterito. But Jose, uh, not Jose, should I say, Guiafera has that in his bag. He can score goals left, right and centre and bang them in at like rapid succession, but he can also break down attacks and he can strangle the game out as well by holding the ball, which Jose likes to keep the possession himself, but that's probably where we've got the good battle. But uh, uh, Guifera using his possessive play versus Jose's counter-attacking as Guifera keeps the ball in more possessive play. So 28 minutes gone here, a chance to whip it into the danger area again, finds Cavani, back out towards Angel Di Maria, now finds Julian Draxler, chance of playing towards Cavani almost turn away to the defender, it's dropped to Verratti on the edge of the area, finds Neymar, just can't quite get the shot away and half an hour gone, it's Guiaferro doing all the pressing uh, as we just tick up towards the edge of the area, it's Edison Cavani on the turn, drops to Neymar, back to Cavani save by the goalkeeper, lovely save with a left hand and a way to safety he just can't get out Graham he can't but watch when Guerrero gets the ball look how many passes one two three four five six and you think okay six has got to beat no but then he goes up to 12 and he's and it's just there's, there's always another pass and that's what starts pulling you out of shape watch the red players surrounding the men with the ball whilst Neymar or it's Di Maria or Cavani finds a little bit of space and then Draxler pops up and you just can't mark him with that many passes and that's what's uh well, that's what took him all the way to the final last year and that's what's getting him the uh, the early wins in the first 35 minutes in this match so far well we were wondering whether Guiaferra's form from 2017 could transfer to 2018 and it really is and it should have been two Graham what an effort there from Cavani but Jose really causing his own downfall absolutely acres of space the keeper has saved him there at wonderful save was that Carrius I didn't see uh, who was in goal but an absolutely phenomenal save there but ma masses of space in the middle as we get the ball drifted into the box lovely defending in the end up towards Angel Di Maria though again just can't get out into the area challenged by Nathaniel Klein and play four towards Mane chance to counter uh, for Liverpool, chance to get a breather as we tick towards the end of the first half. Mane finds Danny Sturridge. Back to Mane, poor pass in the end from Mane. And so far, I know we bigged up both these players, but there's only one who's really turned up so far here in the first round of the World Tour. Mane, okay, so the commentator, the you mentioned that, cross. and then suddenly he wakes up. That's what I do. <laughs> I try to make the game as even as possible. So whoever's losing, I basically say they're not doing very well and then they equalise. That's Klein <laughs> down towards the edge of the area. Crosses towards Danny Sturridge, headed away. Only as far as Mane. Pressure still on as we tick towards the end of the first half and he's running out of play. And that pretty much sums up his first half, Graham. Exactly. Look at that. Shots on target. Liverpool nil. PSG 5. And it's, there's only one player that's been having a hand in this game and that is Guifera. Apart from that counter-attack there, right at the end of the half uh, Jose has just not managed to get any momentum he needs to hold the ball and exactly as I say that he loses the ball he just keeps giving the ball away as it's played into the danger area that final pass uh, something that has shocked me a little bit with Greer Ferrer. we talked about how you know calm and composed he is on the ball his final ball other than the one chance he did take he, he, he could have had more goals if his final ball was a bit better Graham yeah for sure I mean that the final ball that killer pass that's where, where the sort of killer mentality comes in from a professional esports player and, and that's what we saw all the way through the season last year perhaps it's just warming up nerves I mean this is the first match in the start of a very long season so yeah okay we'll give a few nerves but you've got to think by the end of this match the players have got to be taking the chances that are going to be there because maybe won't get um, many chances the tournament continues as Guifera once again piles on the pressure look at that no rush in there do, out do, on the wing. do you feel that Jose is, is nervous or do you feel he's just come up against a truly great competitor here as Gavani flicks it off towards Ango Di Maria again that final pass was lacking from Guifera but back to my original question Graham uh, it's kind of hard to read I, I think it might be nerves because he seems to be rushing everything and and then exactly the opposite he didn't rush but he just ran the, the length of the field with Salah which is not something that we've known Jose for quick one two passes bang bang moving forward but then it was just just run just run that's all he kind of had to offer for himself so be interesting to see how he progresses he's got the ball in 
deep in Guifera's half now. Can he make something from this free kick? If he can't get a shot on goal, he should at least keep hold of the ball and build an attack. Build slowly, don't rush it. So it's a free kick and it's taken by Salah. Finds Amri Chahan back to Salah again. He's been in fantastic form this season, but his final pass there was a, a poor one. Uh, ten minutes into the second half, still that one goal to nil, that little deft header from Neymar over the despairing dive of Carrius in the Liverpool goal and it is Guiaferra from Brazil who leads Jose from Spain so America 1, Europe 0 and as you can see there Guiaferra didn't long ball he played it out from the keeper and that's that, that has two advantages and, and it's all the way up. goes through, stunning save from the goalkeeper, down to his right-hand side. And again, it's another chance wasted, Graham. Is he going to rue these missed opportunities? He, he could do. He, he did everything right there. He played it from the back. He wasted a little time. Five minutes had gone on the clock before he got all the way up to the end of the pitch with Guefera not touching a ball. But as you mentioned, another chance without a goal. Guefera can't keep doing this. He needs to put some away. He's getting more chances, but as we're seeing now... A lot more counter-attacking from Jose in this half than Fine. we had in the first half. Finds Wijnaldum out towards Mane on this right-hand side. Half an hour remaining. Back to Wijnaldum. Chance to cross it in. Or will he go alone? He's just dallied on it too long again. Uh, and he's given the ball away. And it's a chance to counter. But only as far as Chan starting to really put the pressure on here. Jose in search of this elusive equaliser. Good challenge again on the edge of the area. And he's got to be really careful here, Jose, because with 25 minutes remaining, Guiaferra can really turn the screw on the counter-attack. Down the left-hand side, finds oh. Mbappe, uses that pace in towards today's air, flicked on towards Di Maria. Another save from the goalkeeper. Oh. And again, a double stop from Carius. Brilliant goalkeeping there, Graham. Superb, but it, it, apart from the goalkeeping, there's always an extra pass. Guifera always has another man, which that that doesn't happen by accident. That is brilliant team play, playing one, two passes, moving forward, getting the ball, and here he is moving forward again. It really again. is breathtaking to watch as Dani Alves in towards Mbappe, and it's as simple as that. And Guifera finally makes him pay for all of that possession, all of that attacking ability he's finally scored his second goal and has he put the game to bed Graham? I think he has I don't think there is enough time or enough in Jose in this game his face there he looked dejected that's not the Jose that we've seen that's a smiling man that looks a little bit broken hopefully the smiling man from Spain looks <laughs> distraught at this moment in time but he's He's not. He's just not been up to the standard, has he? Guiaferra has already all. started this season's world tour in emphatic fashion. I mean, where was the marking in the middle there, Graham? No, it, it, it was just such a quick counter-attack. And that's what I was saying. There's always an extra man with uh, Guiaferra's attacks as Jose looks to be making some changes now here. Uh, we are fight, We are hearing that the next game on the live stream will be uh, Jonas from... Peru, Peru and Maya Gekka, of course, from uh, Japan. Uh, that will be second for you guys as they just go through, like we mentioned, 65 minutes, 70 minutes. They always go to their substitutes, don't they? Yeah, it'd be interesting. Or even to just see. to tinker with the formation. Be interesting to see how uh, Jose moves with this because, in, in my opinion, and we've seen score lines like Goal this. Um, yeah, well, that's what I'm thinking. He, is he going to protect what's happened? Is it, because. If he takes too much of a beating from this, that could end it because obviously there's head-to-head, -head, there's goal difference, there's goals conceded and scored. So he might be thinking, okay, let's just let's just. I mean, see on this paper, out. this was the the clean sweep, really. This one wasn't it. This was the hardest again on paper for Jose, wasn't it? Exactly. You'd kind of if you're going to lose a game, it's going to be against the world champion. Um, but what he needs to do now is not let this game, not only ruin his goal difference, but ruin his mentality going forward. He looked dejected then, but brush it off, move forward, get a goal if you can. If not, you've got two games. Win those two games and you'll get through anyway. That's, that's, that's what he needs to keep in his mind. So, 73 minutes gone here. Liverpool nil, PSG 2-2. Two, two breakaway goals from Guiaferra and both clinically taken after missing quite a few chances, uh, especially in this second half. 
Uh, not a lot of goal mouth action for Jose from Spain. As another chance here for Guiaferra. It's Neymar. It's 3-0. And the world champion of PES 2017 has started the PES 2018 World Tour in lightning fashion. Absolutely scintillating. And that's... I was talking about the, the battle of the midfield versus the width. Obviously, Jose playing that line through the midfield. Guiaferra playing with width. And that's where it came from then. Out wide as we're getting highlights from another game here but Guiferi came from out wide with the ball into the center but by that point he'd bypassed the midfield the width got him the space so could that be something as we're back to the match there we go There's, was that Neymar finishing it was it? Neymar yes. clinical second of the match for the Brazilian scored by a Brazilian <laughs> see what I did there I do <laughs> I do no it was a lovely finish there goalkeeper Karras who's made a couple of really good saves for Liverpool had absolutely no chance and the world's most expensive football player on the planet has also started the world tour in emphatic fashion 15 minutes remaining and now what we were talking about is really really crucial I feel that if he continues uh, even at 3-0 3-0 is the sort of deficit you don't want to start a group stage with. It, it could be real, a real killer, this one, unless he were to, of course, get a, a late consolation or two. Crossing towards the danger, cleared away. Graham, how does he respond in these final 10 minutes? He needs to change his game plan or change the way that he's playing because look on the wing, and that's where he's getting most of his attacks from, but he's, he has a very thin lineup going down the centre of the pitch. He's not he's playing to his strength. Danny Ings! And, and as I mentioned goal, that, he the curse of the commentator again. And Guiaferro looks slightly uncomfortable by the poor marking. It was really sloppy inside the six-yard box, but Jose made absolutely no chance, drifted the ball in after making a a couple of errors through Mane, finds Danny Ings, and what a header from the man who's been blighted by injury in recent seasons, comes back to score a goal, which really could put a cat amongst the pigeons, another cliche, <laughs> and it could really prove important for Jose going forwards in this competition. Exactly, and, and, and I think that's, that's kind of that's showing it. Look, that ball came from wide, drilled into the middle, but yet he played with a very thin, long attack through the middle. That's where he's gone. His, cha his changes recently so have given him a bit more So why did he start like width. that, Graham? That he's clearly had a lot of success with that in offline tournaments. Maybe, uh, maybe that's the way that they play in, in Spain, and he's, he's had a lot of success with that. But, but Guerrero's alternate tactics with the width in the midfield. That's just undone. That I mean, and going back to the Neymar goal, one pass from the midfield uh, from the wing with a touch on in the midfield that's that whole midfield line taken out in two touches how do you feel Guiaferro is going to end this match is he going to try and go for a fourth for that goal difference again or is he going to just shut up shop now I'd be surprised if he doesn't just shut up shop if he gets a chance he'll he'll go for it but you can see I think he'll just keep hold of the ball try build but not do anything too rash and as I say that so he loses the ball and plays it out towards attack, so. Firmino on this right hand side a second goal here could be really important going forwards it's Roberto Firmino two men in the centre into the area cross towards the back post it was a poor cross though Danny Ings wanted it on the penalty spot a chance for another headed goal but it was a poor cross from Jose and that is a real opportunity <laughs> thanks for your input there Graham two minutes remaining <laughs> as we tick into uh, added on time uh, the fourth official walks towards the technical area it'd be interesting to see how many minutes added on is that another in? chance That's I think it's gone wide on the target netting. half of the stadium thought it was a fourth uh, Half of the commentators desk thought it was. I it. knew it was wide. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a superstar. <laughs> I'm not. I've got to stop that. Uh, 90 minutes gone. Just a one minute of added on time, which is surprising. This considering could be a there's huge been consolation a right here. In the second half, as the ball gets played in towards Danny Ings. Chance to cross. Two men in the, the centre. This has got to be in. Roberto Firmino. Oh, what a, what a save. save. And that is uh, potentially a save that, that really puts Guiaferra in the driving seat in this group stage. The two goal difference, 3-1 on head-to-head -head if it were to go to uh, same. And it's a, it's a job well done for the world champion, isn't it? Huge layer. That's, that's how we 